We have demonstrated uh, through numerous instances that we have a problem with voter fraud in Pennsylvania. Voter ID is the first step in a, in a larger process to protect the voting process. Through town hall meetings since last May, and I have about a town hall a month, and then in between that I speak to senior groups, AARP and so forth, I, I ask that question. It's the first question I ask every group. How many of you in here have a photo ID? Literally every hand goes up, and I ask how many of you would think we should show that when we go to vote? to preserve the process, and literally every hand goes up. I've only had two people come up to me and say this isn't a good idea. So in my district, I would say over 95%, maybe 99% of the people uh, are in support of this, this uh, bill. I represent a diverse district. We have minority groups. Uh, we have people of all uh, races and, and ethnic backgrounds. And uh, if we were suppressing the vote or disenfranchising someone, it would, be, it would affect Republicans as well as Democrats. And, and no one wants to do, disenfranchise anyone. So I think it's a false argument. If people really want to feel secure that their vote actually counts and is not being nullified by someone who's voting more than once or is not eligible to vote in this district and, and happens to be voting through false registration or whatever means. So this is, this is one step. As I say, there'll be other steps coming to ensure the integrity of the process.